My name is uh, Dr. Mark Matsunaga. I'm an anesthesiologist and pain specialist. I have a private practice here on the campus and I have privileges at the Howard County General Hospital where I uh, basically do pain consultations and uh, pain procedures. Peripheral nerve stimulation is one of the newer modalities that are being used in, in chronic pain management. Uh, it's where we use electricity to mask a pain, very similar to what we have as uh, TENS units or a transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation where we put the electrical pads on and stimulate on the skin and try to mask some underlying pain or increase blood flow. We use that same electrical uh, technology to implant in, under the skin over areas where there is pain and use electricity to mask the underlying pain. It doesn't do anything to change the anatomy or change the underlying problem. It just masks it and confuses the brain to feel a vibratory sensation which is usually much more comfortable than pain. We could talk a little bit about the implantation of the peripheral nerve stimulation system is actually an implant. The battery is about the size of a pacemaker that gets implanted somewhere around where the uh, leads are inserted. Uh, the leads are inserted uh, percutaneously through the skin and uh, placed over the peripheral nerves and uh, the battery is then implanted somewhere nearby and you can change the programs on the battery, turning it on, turning it off with a little device that you place over the battery and it has all sorts of uh, varieties of programs that can be used uh, and very controllable by the people who have the implant in. The peripheral nerve stimulation systems can be used for a whole variety of pain. We use it uh, a lot for people who've had previous uh, back surgery and continue to have back pain. There are several people who have the spinal cord stimulator systems in which the leads go into the spinal cord itself and stimulate lower body or legs to help with the pain, but they continue to have back pain. And so we've had several patients where we put the leads directly in the low back and stimulate just the low back and it gives them a lot of relief. We use it for people who've had uh, total joint surgery and continue to have pain, want to stay active. Uh, we use it for post uh, neuralgia pains. We use it for complex regional pain syndromes. Uh, we use it for facet disease. It's basically a, a limitless and the wonderful thing about this modality is that you can undergo a trial uh, of the technology very easily and see if the pain is relieved to their satisfaction. If it is, then you can go ahead and get the battery implanted. But the, the peripheral nerve stimulation trial is a very little invasiveness. It's done under local anesthesia as an outpatient. The technology involved with peripheral nerve stimulation has evolved tremendously over the last couple of decades. The initial uh, stimulators that were implanted in the people were very large, hockey-sized puck. Now they've condensed down to the size of a pacemaker, a silver dollar size, and last implanted uh, over 10 years uh, before they have to be exchanged. And the technology with the software, with the stimulation, has uh, advanced a lot so that the software involved in the programming uh, can be uh, anywhere, uh, it's described anywhere from a vibratory sensation to a thumping sensation, but anywhere along that spectrum is uh, masking the underlying pain problem and patients in general will take anything other than pain. The wonderful thing about the peripheral nerve stimulation or neuromodulation as it's called including both the spinal cord and the peripheral nerve stimulation systems are that it is a more or less elective procedure. It's something when someone desires another mode of therapy, a different approach to managing their pain where they can possibly use a non-pharmacological means to manage the pain, get off all the narcotics they're on, they don't want to be on narcotics, they don't like the side effects of narcotics. Uh, it gives them an alternative, it gives them a choice to, to say, let me try electricity, let me try a different modality to see if I can manage my pain, increase my function, be able to do what I want to do without that pain in right in the middle of their face all the time. One of, one of the goals and the, one of the primary goals of putting a neuromodulation system in 
is to try to improve their quality of life, to give them the ability to go through the day and not be focused on their pain, to be able to perform their daily activities, whether it be work or whether it be sports or whether it be whatever, they have the ability to get through the day without the pain being right in their face. We try to use whatever modalities we can, including this neuromodulation system, to just put the pain in the back of their head. The goal is not to eliminate the pain, although that would be wonderful. It's to modulate the pain perception, to modify what they feel so it's not controlling them and they can do what they need to do on a daily basis.